Hey everybody, welcome to Path of Exile. Uh, today I'm going to be doing Descent League for you, which is, uh, it will not take more than an hour because it's a race league, basically. I'm probably not racing through it, I'm just going to show you the game. And, uh, and I figured, you know, this is the best format because, like, it just takes an hour, and so I can easily divide it up into some nice parts. And so today I'm playing Witch for you. Uh, which is a pure intelligence class, starts at the top of the tree here. This is the passive tree, by the way. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about that a little later. We're starting in 30 seconds here. And so, uh, all I know about Descent League, this is my first uh, run through it. It's basically like a dungeon crawler, ARPG dungeon crawler. There's no town. If I die, I'm just dead. It's it's kind of like hardcore mode, but I lose my character completely. And even if after the hour, like basically anything I do within this hour, I lose the character afterwards anyways. So it's just kind of for fun for fun thing. I figured, why not? Let's let's do that. So, and the provisions are going to have uh, some nice items for me. Okay, it's starting. Let's go. Race. Get up, bitch. Okay. And we get our provisions. So we get a zombie, fireball, a shield, a small mana flask, and uh, two things. So with we get a zombie and a fireball ability. And I think I should actually have fireball in that slot. And we'll put a zombie there. Obviously, I'm not going for any uh, races here. So this is an RPG, sort of. Fucking someone's level two already. God damn. So if I die, I'm go I die. It's just this ends whenever I I die. So hopefully I'll get a, a good word. And actually, you know, there's no town to sell anything, so I might as well not pick anything up. Uh, so I'm fighting some snakes here, who I thought do chaos damage, but they don't. Uh, I should also get some zombies in. The zombies will kind of tank for I need me. More mana. Oh man, this is gonna be tough. So there's some beetles around. And I also get a basic wand attack as well. So it's a really cool ARPG. If you really like stat, kind of messing around with stats and shit like that, this is definitely the game for you. Because uh, there's a lot of that. And there's a big Carrington Queen here, which basically spawns more of these little exploding fuckers here. But uh, they're all going to just blow up. So that's okay. So the kind of game this is, uh, it's, it's basically what Diablo 3 probably should have been. I'm not going to go into a huge bitch fest about that, but uh, it's basically a great, it's an actual true random uh, RPG. It actually does randomize the maps and stuff. So the place I'm playing right now, I recognize the tile set, but I do not recognize uh, anything else about this place. Um, I, I, I can't control any of that. Like, like I, I can't tell where, where I'm going to go next. Like I have a map in the upper right corner, so I don't really know where I'm going. And I don't want to die, like, so early to fucking snakes. That would be embarrassing. Uh, and so I have uh, I have abilities you can use on the skills and all that kind of stuff. And so the the, the, the gems I had... Actually, why am I picking this up? The gems I had... Uh, I just picked up an Orb of Alchemy, which means a normal item can go to a rare, a rare item. Which will be nice. I'm going to try and save that for a little later. And hopefully that'll work out. So I'm going to explain a little bit of the game mechanics. Basically, everything is socketed in this game, and you can put gem gems into those um, sockets whenever you want. And so, in the case of what I have right now, is I have a ray zombie and a fireball uh, gem. And so, and I'm picking up armor and stuff as I roll along. Oh, there's a superior one now. And so, see, this one is socketed with two, and so when they're linked, it means you can link two of them together. You can link, basically, a skill, a, 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 a ability, like, let's say, fireball with increased fire damage, you know, or something like that. If, if I get lucky enough and find something like that, that's what I can do. So, there's a huge amount of dynamics to this game. It's actually ridiculous. It's fantastic. A uh, whole lot of fun. So, that's why if you like ARPGs, it's, it's, this is, like, your wet dream, trust me. And we got a small superior flask. Nice. There's constantly these bug things. I hate these things. They do ridiculous amounts of damage to me. I'm just asking to get killed. Like that. But I'm basically the way this game mode in particular works though is that um, I can't go back into here later. Like I have to basically, I'm trying to get as much experience as humanly possible. Um, because it's kind of, it's just the way it works. It's, uh, well, some guy got to level two, like, and look how long it's taking me to get to level two. Like, holy shit. I, I, I want to know what that kid did. I really do. Um, and so, uh, I can't go back in here. So I think the idea is that I'm supposed to explore as much as possible and kill as many enemies as possible, get some level ups. Level four, god damn. Uh, see, this is why I'm not even racing. I'm not even bothering. I don't know what they're employing, what strategies they're doing. 
but people are ridiculously good good at this game like to the point where I, I could just never hope I, I'm, I'm let's just say I'm a casual ARPG player and I'm not I'm not intending on doing any of that I stuff be a dead woman by now. so I just got my level up so I can either go into spell damage or mana regen I'm gonna go into spell damage I think I eventually want to get a point maybe into mana regen maybe I can do with that I'll see how I feel later on okay we have two of these bug three of these bug things okay this is not good Okay, I'm gonna let him kill his own stuff. So I'm gonna just do a bit of like micro round. Try and get around these things. So the passive tree that you see, um, basically the character you choose only determines two things. Where you start in the tree and they're shitting out bugs. Uh, where you start in the tree and what kind of stat points you start with. Just the ones you start with. You don't actually gain stat points as you play. I need more uh, mana. Like, uh, unless it's through items or something. So you could technically start as, like, a, str a pure strength character and, like, do something retarded, like, I don't know, um, go into, like, like intelligence stuff and just pretend you're a witch all the time. You are very, you are more than free to do that. There is unlimited freedom with this game. It's actually really neat. The zombies are really not too useful here because uh, I, I kind of intended for them to tank my, uh, my witch here, but they're not really being too good at that. I have to, like, constantly micro-round these things. Let's get some more zombies. Because, look at this, they just kind of blow up into my zombies. It's not fun. And I keep getting glass shanks on the ground. Okay, that works. Um, and so, okay, so it's just basically an ARPG. Um, so where, it just determines where you start on the, on the passive skill tree and all that. So, you know, you can do... It's it's basically the, the sky's the limit, uh, and it's it's really really well done, really well balanced. And it's, there's a lot of like really fun builds. You basically feel really powerful whenever you play this. Oh god, there's bugs. Yeah, this is my only splash damage ability, by the way. So I got to basically just. I don't know if these guys are being spawned by anything. Okay, I'm gonna just. I, I didn't know this, but it, apparently zombies are a complete waste of my time, so I'm not going to bother spawning them anymore. Uh, and so, in this game mode in particular, there's no town, uh, and there's no way to regain anything. Okay, I can get a shield now. Um, oh, god damn. Yeah, you get you get all the lag issues and everything like that. My ping's like, well, it's not, it's not that bad. Um... There we go. We got we got some gem level up, so I can get uh, basically yeah. So skill gems level up. Uh, that's another mechanic I, I failed to mention. Uh, so that's how it works. And the skills work in this game. So they level up on their own with experience, kind of like you do. So it's like RPG mechanic with an RPG mechanics. Uh, and every every time you level up, you just gain a, a point into your passive skill tree. It's that massive thing you did you saw right there. And so if you if you're a huge stat whore, you're gonna have a like it's your wet dream basically. It's it's great. And if you're not, all you, it's really not that intimidating. It's not that bad as you would think. Because all you really have to do is you kind of just you pick out where you start and you kind of like look at what what's interesting nearby. Uh, I want to kill these bug things. They're so annoying. So gonna kill me. This is actually really difficult. I didn't expect this level of difficulty coming from the game this early. Because these these fucking bugs keep blocking all my fucking fireballs. And I'm probably gonna die to these guys one day. But you know, I'm not complaining about difficulty because, you know, I I fucking love difficulty. Challenge is nice. Okay, I'm just gonna tank. I'm gonna mad mode this. There we go. Oh god, something you don't want to hear me- like these blow- these explosions, like, every time I, I piss myself because I- whenever I hear that. But anyways, um... So yeah, it's really- it's quite a well done uh, game. And by the way, this is completely and utterly free to play. Um, I need well, more and when I say free to play, I don't mean, uh, they- they- they ask you every couple of seconds, Hey, you wanna- you wanna sink some money into this weapon that you can't have? No. Uh, literally, uh, if you started playing the game, Today, you would get no more advantage than I do, except for the fact I have a Kiwi, so... Uh, hello, Kiwi. Uh, the Kiwi does nothing, it's just a pet, kind of like uh, in World of Warcraft, you know, or something. That's the best thing I can... comparison I can think of. How it just follows you around. Or TF2, like hats. So I can, like, I can give myself a, a better-looking weapon or something. Oh, no. Oh, it's a... I have to apply it differently. 
Doesn't matter. I'm not. I don't really care about that. I have like weapon effects and other things like that. But everything is cosmetic. Every it, they basically call it ethical microtransactions. Because uh, you know, even in even in a game like MechWarrior Online, I can honestly say that there's some bullshit regarding the the microtransactions in that game. Because there's some hero mechs that have certain equips that like sort of different loadouts that you can't get normally. So in that regards, that is kind of bullshit. Um, however, this is not that kind of a game. Uh, you see, as you see, my Kiwi is really nothing, doing nothing except uh, providing moral support, and uh, he's cheering me on. Shadow shit, not descent, is the first to enter. So yeah, so as you play, you basically see, oh god, this. So this is a, this is a, a magic, uh, magic keratin queen. I, I didn't even think. I'm just gonna go pure spellcaster. I think. Because this is scaring the shit out of me. And so there you go, I killed that thing. Uh, usually usually the, the harder the monsters, the better th drops they have. Although this one just in particular had just an iron hat for me. Uh, so yeah, so it's just supported by eth ethical micro microtransactions. You can start playing even today. You just go to pathofexile.com and uh, you know you just download the client. And it's honestly, it is honest to goodness free. I would not lie to you. Uh, it is free, and they're some wonderful developers, and I, I, I really want you to support them. Um, and and so yeah, and I'm pro. This is not a good situation for me to be in, so I'm now panicking. Cause that this is like this is like a billion. You know those explosions. This is like a thousand explosions. I want to kill this thing first. Oh fuck! Learn is to live. You never want to hear that, Doris. Well, you do, but you don't. Fucking. See, this is a problem. It keeps spawning more of them. And they're blocking my fireballs. Oh god, this is difficult. Okay, we killed it. Okay, this is not the situation where we mad mode. Just gonna tell you that right now. Okay, we can either get a bow or a club. So, you know, I generally do, am not kind of carrying around things with me. I don't really care about half this stuff. So we can get, like, a better piece of armor. And then, like, that's it. I just drop it when I'm done. There's no there's no time to sell anything in this mode. Just you play it once and you play for uh, most an hour. Which is really cool game mode. Um, so some, some more of the mechanics I'll go into in just a second. Let me just put my passive point. I'm getting more spell damage. I'm focusing purely on spell damage at this point. Because I'm realizing how useless... Uh... I my, need more the mana. zombies are. I'm probably gonna want to get some mana. I don't know. Maybe maybe I can just deal with the 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 mana potions for now, even though it recharges really painfully slow. And that one, these ones are heroes. You see, these ones have augmented projectiles, uh, so they're fire, they're using uh, lesser multiple projectiles, which is uh, adds two projectiles to every time they attack, which is uh, not good on my account. Uh, this wand is technically better by 1%, but I'm not a huge stat horse. I don't really think I should bring that along. And now I can increase my uh, physical damage with uh, the sash. So, you know, it's it's really easy quite to, uh, to learn this game. And they have, like, uh, hardcore difficulties, which is, like, if you die, you get sent back to what's called Standard League. Standard League is usually where people start. Uh, but you, you don't get any... You don't lose anything by trying out um, uh, hardcore. Wow! Let's take cover behind this tree. I feel like this is like friggin' the beaches of Normandy or whatever. You're mine, Snake. Just die. Okay, so we got a Paula ring out of that. We got a good shield, a good. Oh wow, we got a lot of stuff. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna identify the belt and the wand and the shield actually. Okay, the, the shield gives me actually quite a lot of armor, so we're gonna actually put that on. So now I have a kite shield. Uh, we don't have any rings, so we're gonna actually put this one on. This one gives me some mana, some strength. It's not very useful, but beggars can't be choosers. This is a good wand. It'll give me a lot of spell damage, so we're gonna put that on. And we're just gonna drop everything I don't want. And this uh, belt gives me energy shield, and I don't really use physical damage, so I am quite happy with that. I don't use bows, so I'm not bothering. Okay, so at the end of every uh, level, they have two chests. And I know what's in every one of them, so I'm actually going to take the Alluring Chest. Because it gives you Quicksilvers, which I like. Uh, I at least want... I don't know how many I should have. That's the problem. I think I should do it like this. I'm going to keep these around just in case, and I just lost... I probably should keep the other one. And then that's it. We go into the next area. And so, you know what? I don't need to go that fast, so I'm actually... I've changed my mind on this. And that's what I'm gonna do. 
So it's just the adventures of me and the Kiwi. And so now we have some shadow arches. So now we're in a totally different area. So like, and we can't go back anymore. So that's, that's kind of my problem, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna have to deal with it. And you notice how my health bar, I have an energy shield there, which is kind of cool. Oh, by the way, um, Pat right now, as you can see, VG Pat is in my friends list there while I attack stuff. He is currently playing this too, so now this just became a competition between me and him. He's, I think he's recording it. Um, he's level 5, which means he's beating me right now. However, this is a race, so if he gets too far without uh, leveling up properly, you know, maybe maybe I'll win that. So, you know, let's, let's see. Let's see. It's, let's have a grudge match between me and Pat. I stream this game a lot, by the way. Um, I just never could figure out an interesting way of... Uh, of doing this as an LP, and then and then they announce this stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, that's problem solved. Because um, then uh, it's just it, it can only be an hour what I'm doing here, and so that's why that's why I decided to do what I did. Um, which is my favorite class? It's it's the pure intelligence class, and it's uh, it's a, it's a great amount of fun for me to play because I like playing summoners, I like playing spellcasters, as you know. I think in Diablo three I played like whatever the the witch was there. Um, and in, in, uh, uh, what's my call it? In Diablo 2, I've always played, uh, uh, the Sorceress. Uh, so I always, I always veer towards these spellcasters because they're always like, holy shit, these things, I've never seen this before ever in my life. And I'm kind of worried at what they'll do. <laughs> it's, it's funny? I need more mana. Oh, need more mana, fuck it. I, I can summon zombies from bones. So I'm just kind of looking at the outskirts of the map here. Oh, god! I know these guys. These guys do a hell of a lot of DPS to me if I don't if I don't be careful. Luckily, the zombies are actually doing their job right now, surprisingly enough. So I might actually change my mind on those zombies. I'm gonna keep it on me at the very least because it's it's actually quite convenient to have, and I can now use quicksilvers to kind of get around the map faster. And now I have a Coral Amulet, which is nice. Uh, I'll show you what that does after I kill this guy. So I get a life regeneration. And one thing I can do is I can do this. I can, uh, I can, I have a, I had an Orb of Alchemy, so I'm actually going to use it on this. And I get a bunch more stats on it now. So that's actually, fuck, I had a better one, but that's okay. Uh, I, it was better only by a certain percentage or something. It's, it's a better by 0 0.3, so it's not a big deal. So this is exactly actually what I wanted to see, which is basically my zombies tanking the damage for me while I just shoot. There you go. There you go. And we're summoning it from bones, so that's nice. Uh, and I can only have up to three, so let's have a look. So I can get some increased cast speed, so I'm going to actually continue on that route. Because um, that's going to raise my DPS by for, for a number. So my, my plan here is, well, at least my intention going in is, since I didn't know what was coming up, I figured the safest build would be to play something, at least with the witch, is to allow my summons to take the damage, and uh, and I just kind of run around. And so I'm using my Quicksilver Flash to kind of get into the next encounter. This is sort of a race, so I want to get the I want to get to the mobs as soon as possible. I've been kind of slacking on that count, kind of a little bit. So yeah, I I, I don't want you to th think of me as a filthy scrub. But my, as you can see, my gear is getting much, much better. Uh, actually, it's actually getting to the point where I think I'm doing much better now. Uh, ooh, wool shoes. Okay, wool shoes better than these because they'll give, grant me more energy shield. And I'm an energy shield dependent class because I have lots of mana. Or sorry, lots of, uh, the best, lots of, uh, intelligence. And so that is something actually that's worth talking about is, um, the, 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 there's three different attribute point, uh, types in this game. It's uh, strength, dexterity, and intelligence. And so um, the way all the classes work in this game is they uh, they either roll strength, dex, or uh, this is good. I'll take that. Um, they either roll strength, dex, or pure. So, so it's strength, dex, or intelligence, and I'm the pure intelligence class. And then they have these 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 hybrid classes. So there's uh, classes like the shadow, which is a mix of uh, dex and intelligence. So you're supposed to evade stuff, I guess. And, uh, and I can't level this up because I don't have I'm not level five. So I'm clearly the rate at which I'm leveling up though, at is not good. Pat's at level six too. What a dick. Nah, no, I, I like Pat. Pat's a cool guy. Um, he's a VG Paticus, by the way, on YouTube, if you want to know where he is. I think he's recording this as well, so, you know, 
You can go. You can go compare us. See who's better. Okay. I, I'm actually looking forward to actually seeing what seeing what he did because I've never seen descent. I've just seen. As I said, I've just looked up uh, what is in all the chests at the end to help me kind of gain that low competitive edge. But I know he's doing that too. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite cool with that. Just just know he's a filthy cheater too. <laughs> it's not really cheating though. It's like it's more of a community thing. People figured it out. This is like the fifth descent race or something. So people have already kind of figured out the strategies and stuff for it. So I'm, I'm just kind of here for I the good times. And, and the needing of more mana. Alright, and oh, we got a vine circulate, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, which is probably not. There you go. 